I want to talk about the different types of, of uh, sexual perversions. We're going to go places that, and, and I, will, I will keep it above board, but we're going to go places that you've probably never heard, never understood. We're going to talk about how great men fail, the, the pr process and how they, they uh, drop into immorality and, and domestic violence, those kind of things. It's all developmental. We're going to talk about teens. That's why I understood the Columbine thing, because I've done the research on all the shooters. And all but one of the shooters had been molested male to male before the age of 11. And that is such a wound to the brain and, and creates such doubt internally that they feel like odd man out and I'm the only one in the whole world this has ever happened to and they're going to they're gonna leave their mark on the world and I would have done it if I could have found a gun. God delivered me. I had developed such a dual personality, Jekyll Hyde that my principal tells me you're the most foul-mouthed, dirty-minded, sexually oriented, violent child in Oak Street Junior High School. And I was in Arrested Development, you don't put the whole picture together. So I'm acting out at school, not thinking of all the kids I go to school with that are, are in my Sunday school class at church. So the kids go to their parents and say, boy, Paul Higstrom is a real mess, he's doing this. And I hear him cuss all over the place. And, and they tell their parents. So their parents, several of the, of the families where the kids I went to school with, got my parents together and said that our kids are reporting that your son is, is acting out in these ways. And they're trying to be diplomatic to my parents about it, but it, it really came out. And, and my mother says, you got, your kids are trying to get Paul in trouble because if Paul was that bad, we would see it at home. But I came from a home where you never said, gee whiz, golly darn, or anything. Computers. This is where it's extremely dangerous. Because on computers, the anonymity of the interaction calluses the brain. And, and the brain over a period of time starts to be turned over to what the scripture calls the reprobate mind. So we've wired the brain with live electricity without shutting it off. And these, when we serve Christ or when we change a habit or when we choose not to think upon these things, whatever we choose to do, the brain will follow suit and start the wiring process. And it will come to this. This be one becomes two. Two become four. And they multiply for three years. And the scripture says by the renewal of the mind on a daily basis. The renewal of the mind. And the, we said earlier, broad is the path to destruction. And one version says pathway. And that's what they use in the brain. Broad is the pathway to destruction. And narrow is the, is the path to salvation if you find it therein.